Hello, this is a video for 10-6, the homework on schoology. Uh, looking at this first question, and these questions will be on the quiz, or these types. Uh, this uh, number one, 2a squared minus 46a plus 252 equals zero. This is in standard form. So I'm going to figure out what a, b, and c are. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. First, I could I can divide everything by two, and create a new quadratic that'll have the same answer. So if I divide by two, I get this. Okay, and then if I put it into the quadratic formula, I'm going to get negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. And when I do that. We get 23 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2. 20, the square root of 25 is 5, so 23 plus 5 over 2 is 28 over 2, which is 14, or 23 minus 5, which is 18 over 2, which is 9. Okay, and you could pause the video and try this yourself the other way, making it A equals 2, B equals negative 46, and C equals 252, and you should, you will get the same answers. You'll get 9 and 14 for your answers. Okay, again, you can pause the video at any time and try one of these problems. Uh, this answer here is A. This rocket answer is B. I'll go over a few of these in a minute. The solution gives, given by the quadratic formula is formula are sometimes integers, sometimes they're integers, sometimes they're uh, decimals or rational numbers uh, or irrational. Uh, use any method to solve the equations. Okay, so this one here, I would probably use the quadratic formula. For number six, I would bring eight over and use a quadratic formula. Seven, I would use uh, square roots. I would divide by 11 and take the square root of both sides. Uh, number eight, I would add six, divide by eight, and take the square root. Okay. Um, this rocket launch question. Rocket is launched from a top of a 101-foot cliff. Initial velocity is this. Substitute the values of the vertical motion formula. So V is this here. C is the height, which is the 101 cliff. So you put this 101 and this 116 into your vertical motion formula, which will get you this formula here. And C is also the same formula, but it's the wrong answer when I do the quadratic formula. So if we look at this question, um, I'm going to use A is negative 16, B is 116, C is 101, and get 8 as your answer. And again, you can try that in the quadratic formula yourself. This is number 8, which you could use the quadratic formula for, and say A is 8, B is 0, and 6 is negative, or C is negative 6. Uh, you could use the quadratic formula. You're going to get the same answer. What I did was I used uh, solving by square roots. And we bring the 6 over by addition. So the 6 comes over. comes positive 6. Divide by 8. And then you take the square root of both sides. And you get plus or minus. And this says 0.75. Um, <coughs> and that gets you answer C. Again, I would suggest you try all these questions and see if you can do them on your own. Um, okay, this one, again, is a you don't need to use the quadratic formula. You could. I think I did on this one. Uh, I brought the 8 over to this side, so now it's negative 8. But there's no B value. B is 0 and A is 11. So I have my numbers here. I put them into the quadratic formula. I do the math, and I get the square root of 352 divided by 22 equals uh, negative 0.85. And positive square root of 352 divided by 22 is positive 0.85. So again, you should be able to pause the video, try this on your own, and see if you get the same answer. If you can do that, you'll be in good shape for the quadratic formula 
on the quiz tomorrow. So uh, if you have other questions, you can email me. The quiz will be made up of 10-6 and 10-4 homework. It'll be similar to this with different uh, values for the question and things will be scrambled up a little bit. Uh, you should not be using your notes on the quiz. You should take the quiz without your notes or your books open or any other help. You should do it on your own. Please uh, be honest in that regard. Okay, uh, God bless you and have a nice day. I hope this helps.